Hello everybody and welcome to your 10 minutes of EVE. My name is Casuality and if you want to support my little series of episodes, please leave a like and subscribe and maybe a comment in the section below the video. Today we will start to talk about industry and in fact it can only be a start because industry is one of the more complex uh, time sinks you can find in EVE or well I guess it depends on what you define as industry but at least in my understanding it is quite a lot. You can find the industry tab either on your Neocom or on your quick bar Neo in the Neocom it's right here. I dragged it onto my quick bar and honestly I cannot remember whether that's here by standard or by default or not. And um, there you can see a lot of tabs which are grayed out for the moment and everything that's mentioned here in my opinion must be considered industry which is manufacturing of products research of blueprints, copying of blueprints, invention and reactions. And we will cover all these topics in the next episodes. The industry window right from the start tells you to install a blueprint and this leads to the first main question if you are considering to manufacture stuff namely what to build. And to illustrate that, I will use one of the blueprints my character has, which is an Iteron Mark V transport ship or industrial ship. And once you install the blueprint, which you can do by dragging and dropping, by right clicking and using the blueprint, or if you are select um, the right station you can also choose the blueprint from this menu um, i have organized my blueprints so therefore you can see if you choose all inventory locations more than you actually see here on the right hand side so this would be only the item hanger, this would be this station container, but that's only a side note. Now, this window shows us that to produce 10 runs or 10 Iteron Mark V's, we would need this amount of resources, in this case only um, materials acquired from either the market or from reprocessing mined asteroids. It would take 22 and a half hour roughly to manufacture those 10 iterons in Dodixie in the trade hub and it would cost me this amount of money. Um, I can also make my corporation pay for that but this option may not be available for everyone. Um, so this is quite some basic information. This also tells me that I have not enough materials. In fact, I have none of them. Um, but of course, unless I absolutely need the item for myself, um, I'm only producing stuff to make money. And to find out whether this is um, a money maker or not worth my time. I have to calculate whether purchasing those materials costs me less than selling those would net me. And there's a handy feature to do that. If you hover your mouse over this uh, sign here you will see more detailed description of uh, how many minerals you have. In this case zero for everything except for two 
mega units of sideline and you will get a price estimation. If you right click and choose buy all, then you will get the actual price if you buy all those materials at this concrete station. Um, you can change to other stations within the same solar system, but as those are no trade hubs, you will likely not get all materials you need. And this tells me more precisely that it will cost me around 24.1 million ISK. Adding the job cost will raise this to, yeah, let's say 25 million. And by right clicking on the item shown here in the outcome window, I can get the usual information, but most importantly also the current sell price, which would be 30 million for all of them, for 10 of them if I manage to sell them here, minus tax of course, and broker fees. So this would be a profit of roughly 5 million, which is equal to 20%, which is not fantastic, but also uh, quite okay. So um, this might be a good idea to produce this item. Um, as you can see, well, um, there are some values here for material efficiency and time efficiency. And these are not the same uh, for all blueprints, or to put it um, the other way around, not all blueprints are the same. So by right clicking here and going to view mark details, I can also look at the price of the blueprint itself, which is roughly Oh, which is exactly 11.25 million if buying it from an NPC sell order. And if I use this one, then you will see that um, the values go down to zero, zero. And if I would produce 10 runs from this blueprint copy, the price is already a lot higher. And this is because you can only buy so-called unresearched blueprints from the market. Researched blueprints can only be found in contracts. So if you're looking for those, you can right click and select find in contracts. And they will list you blueprint copies and blueprint originals of this item. And if you hover over those, you can see that this one here, for example, in Dodixie, is perfectly researched and provides five runs. So blueprint copies only provide limited runs, while blueprint originals provide unlimited runs, even though it tells me here a maximum run, but this is only per job. After those 270 runs, I could start the next 270, while a blueprint copy once the maximum amount uh, has been used will disappear. So the quality of the blueprint matters. How to improve it, it will be part of uh, a later episode where, when we talk about research. And that would be these two um, tabs in the manufacturing window. But I have a better blueprint copy which is already partly researched, nearly perfect. So here only 1% is missing and here 4% are missing. But even then I could take a look um, at what would happen if I research it to perfect level. Then you see that the amount of required minerals is reduced because material efficiency uh, is a percentage reducing the required amount. So a, a perfectly researched blueprint takes 10% less uh, materials than an unresearched one. So here this is only a 1% improvement, which um, of 
course, has some effects. So here we are below the 24 million mark. And in the original state, we are above. So we have answered the first question, what to produce. We want to produce 10 iterum mark 5. Now the question would be where to do it. Obviously you can do it right here in the trade hub. Um, and once it is done, just sell it here. But if I want to take a look whether I can improve on my production, I can go to the facilities tab and select one of the stations which offer manufacturing services, which I have pre-selected here which are a lot because many um, NPC stations also offer manufacturing services and all, um, all engineering complexes are um, destined for production. So the Raitaru, the Aspel and the Sotio. If I, so, just to, to remember, we'll use the mouse server 22.6 million ISK total estimation here. If I switch over to this right arrow, I have 22.3. So already saved 300k. It's also three hours faster and it's 600,000, almost 600,000 ISK cheaper. This has to do with several factors. First of all, if you hover over a station, the system cost index. Uh, to put it short, the more is the more is uh, which is produced in a system, the higher the system cost index will raise. And uh, MIFs, even though on jump one jump away, is obviously a much less frequented production system than Dodexi, resulting in a huge difference in system cost index, yeah, 4.5%. And then we have also tax, which is on NPC station a flat 10%. And in this case, um, the one of the station has set it to 2% for the station services. So producing in MIFs would be um, much preferable Let's take also a look at um, both the I choose your market and industry in Botain because they use Sotio, which is, which is the biggest engineering complex. And you can see that this takes down my estimated price by another 3% because this station has so many bonuses to production that the material consumption is reduced even further. The system cost index is high, much higher than in Mavis, but not so high as in Dodixi, and the tax is comparable. As you can see, this reduces my drop duration by further seven hours compared to Mavis, and by 10 hours compared to Dodixi, while the drop cost here is about 100k lower than in Dodixi, but still double as high as, or more than double as high as in MIFs. So there's a balance to be found. Do you need it urgently? Do you want to save the maximum amount of money? Here you would have to calculate a lot. Um, is the reduced drop cost um, offset by the reduced material consumption? If yes, then Botain would be the superior spot for production because of the um, shorter drop duration. But to answer the question where to produce, uh, you also have to take into account what you have to move to do so. The big advantage of Dodexy would be you can buy everything here you need for production, produce it here and sell it here. You don't have to move um, the components um, or the final product. The mouse tip also gives you estimated volume, which is 8 
1,700 cubic meters for all those minerals, which um, even an alpha clone like this one can easily move in uh, an industrial ship like this one if you already own one. The problem in this case are the finished goods, because even one Itron Mark V packaged has a volume of 20,000 cubic meters. So you would not gain anything by transporting it packaged. You can then also just board every single of the 10 ships, fly it over here, repackage it and sell it, which is a pain. So for modules and smaller stuff producing in a, let's say cheaper or um, better equipped station is definitely a consideration but ships and everything which is more more bulky um, yeah you really have to weigh the pros and cons especially if you cannot move uh, great bulks like finished ships just a few quick words about skills there aren't many um, and alpha clones can only learn two of them, which is the industry skill. You only need industry one, for example, to build uh, these ships, so that's uh, quick and dirty. But it also improves the manufacturing time to raise it to five. And mass production gives you additional jobs, so an alpha clone can have a maximum of four manufacturing jobs. And that's it. Uh, as an omega, you could with uh, buy... Um, you could learn advanced industry, which would reduce um, manufacturing and research times even further, advanced mass production, which together with mass production could give you a total maximum of 11 production slots. Um, then you have, um, go away, supply chain management, which would allow a remote starting of jobs and um, delivery of finished jobs and then you have skills needed for tech 2 production for capital production and for boosters which is um, oh, go away the drug manufacturing and outpost construction if you would like to build your own stations at least that's it for Tech 1 production, more or less. There are very few items which would require additional skills, usually from the science section, and especially Tech 2 and Tech 3 skills, um, which are not available to Alpha clones anyway, um, are quite numerous and time consuming, but this is not um, part of this episode. We will discuss this later. Okay, this covers the basic of manufacturing items, basics of industry in general, and we will look at uh, research of blueprints in the next episode. Until then, goodbye, and until next time, your casualty. <laughs>